say that they're speaking on behalf of the people who live in this neighborhood. Coral Gate again trying to speak out about what they call our sewage pond. So these basins that they believe will be built when the actual uh, revamp here of the wastewater uh, facility actually happens here that handles this cross border pollution that these will be built and that they will contain toxic water here and expose the people who live nearby. Now uh, what we know so far about these sewage ponds is that they would be constructed close to this community and other homes. At least that's one proposal. But the idea here is that it would collect contaminated water uh, to be later treated at the wastewater facility. So only there for a temporary time before being pumped back. But the group says that that even temporary time puts the living pe the people living nearby in danger. But it is the most sinister and diabolical plan ever perpetrated on the people of the South Bay to take that same poison and want to put it on the doorstep of these residents right here. This 457 home community, not to mention all the other neighborhoods, the trailer park and all the businesses around here, the plaza that are exposed. And in other cross-border pollution news, the city of San Diego voting today to continue uh, the state of emergency, which of course is important because that helps free up dollars for current and future projects concerning cross-border pollution. Eric Anetta.